Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through an exercise called Connecting Web Parts. The goal here is to create a new site page with two connected web parts. We're also going to see how we can import data from an existing Excel file. So we're going to create two new lists, and we're going to do that by importing them from an Excel file called Customers XLS. And uh, that one has two tabs, customers and countries. So we're going to add a new site page and add two list web parts to that site page. And then we're going to connect them. So what that, when you click a country, you see the customers from that country. That could be quite useful. So let's switch over to that. We will start in the Excel file, where, as you see, I have a customers list and I have a countries list. Notice that, that when I click in the customers list, as a part from outside the customers list, nothing really happens. If I compare that to the countries list, you'll notice that I get the table tools up there, which disappear when I click outside them. So this is what Excel considers a table, and this is not. The difference is that you have not formatted this table as a table. So we're going to do that. Now we have two tables and we have the table tools in both places here. So now I can go in and export a table to a SharePoint list. So let's do that. And I, of course, need to get the URL to the site I'm going to export to. So I'm going to copy the link. I right clicked on the logo there and copy the link. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to create a read-only connection to the new SharePoint list. I'm going to call this customers. Click Next, and then Finish. And now it's adding records. All right, that was published. I'll go over to the Countries tab and do the same thing there. Export, Export Table to SharePoint List. And I'm going to send that to the same site. Create a read-only connection. And I'm going to call these Countries. Click Next, and Finish. All right, let's go to that list. And as you see, this now has created a list which is not available on the quick launch. And by default, it goes into the quick edit mode. And also, it is in the classic experience. So let's fix some of these things. I'm going to create a new view, a standard view. Let's call this countries and make it the default view. Right, and then we're going to go into the list settings and go under list name, description, navigation, and make sure that it does a display on the quick launch. And also, of course, we're going to enable versioning. I always want to do that when I create a new list. There we go. Now we have the countries there, and it's not showing in quick edit mode. So let's go into the site contents, do the same thing for the customers list that we just created. Go directly into settings there. I'm going to go into list name, description, navigation, show it on the quick launch. Go into versioning settings, enable versioning. And also, I'm going to create a new view, a standard view. I'm going to call that customers and make it the default view. And while I'm in here, I will remove that type icon, which is rather worthless. I'll also put the edit as the first item in the view. And that creates a rather good view. There you go. So now I have fixed my lists. Let's edit the link and move these to the top also, because we're going to be using these countries and customers. There we go. Now, I'm going to create a new site page that will connect these two lists so that I can see the customers for each country. I can, of course, do that by simply doing a filter here. But this is a useful technique, and I hope you like it. So I'm going to go into Site Contents and uh, find my site pages. There are my site pages at the bottom. I'm going to create a new wiki page. I'm going to call that Countries and Customers. Create. 
I'm going to set the text layout to be two columns. And then I'm going to insert an app part in each of these zones here. So I'm going to add an app part here for the countries and add the other app part for customers to the right. And I'm going to save the page so that I don't have to redo this because sometimes this next step creates trouble. Now I have the two web parts, the countries and customers, and now I need to make them connected because now if I click on a country here, nothing happens to the right. And that's what I want, of course. So I'm not going to be able to do that in Chrome because that gives me trouble. So I'm going to copy that link now and open Internet Explorer instead. And log in to Office 365 and go to this specific page. And now we're going to do the next step in Internet Explorer. So I'm going to edit the page. So I'm in edit mode on the page. And I'm going to go into edit mode on the web part. And then I'm going to send the row of data to customers. And I'm going to get filter values. I'm going to configure that. And we're going to connect them using the country from each of the lists because that's the, the connection between those two. So let's finish that and now save the page. Now I can go back to Edge because now it will work in Edge, the actual connection that I made. But just making that connection does not work in Edge at this time. So now you see I actually have a filter here. I'm only seeing the Argentinian customers to the right. If I click another one, I see the Austrian ones, the Belgian ones, the Brazilian ones, and so on. So now we see the filter working in Edge, and we have completed the exercise. Thank you for watching this demo.